this looks like? What if we take a step back? Any ideas? No? Maybe a few inches more will do it. Now don't freak out! This is a wood wasp, and it's not going to sting you. That long piece we're looking at is called an ovipositor, and it is what female wasps use to lay their eggs. Now let's take a look at it in action. Watch now as she places her ovipositor into the wood. First she shakes it to the left, and then to the right, and then back to the left. And that's her whole routine, a 30 minute long workout drilling into the wood to deposit her eggs. She can do this because of the ovipositor's design. Remember what it looked like? It was serrated, like a saw. Or perhaps more descriptive, a zipper. Like a zipper, the ovipositor has two halves. Each half works together to balance each other out as it drills into the wood. And now scientists are taking this design and using it to create a surgical probe for minimally invasive neurosurgery. The probe will be steerable and soft, allowing it to smoothly glide the natural path of the brain as opposed to the current, more rigid devices. When people take inspiration from nature for their own designs, that is called biomimicry, and it is used in seemingly simple things like Velcro, all the way to the complicated, such as high-speed bullet trains, and insects provide a wealth of the inspiration. This darkling beetle lives in the arid Namib desert, and so to stay hydrated, it collects water from the fog around them. Their method of collecting water has been replicated by humans, with their technique being used to improve fog nets for water collection. Then there are the termites. Their mounds are full of intricate pathways that are very effective at keeping air flowing and remaining cool in the extreme heat. By looking at how they build their homes, we can improve ours. Ventilation systems are now getting upgraded and cutting down on the amount of energy used. So what next great innovation is just waiting outside to be discovered?